Okay, so taking uh, an opportunity here just to rewire something. As you can see, it's a bit of a shit storm in there. Come summertime, I'm gonna have to clean all this out. But uh, one of you asked how, how I did the, the wigwags using the factory VSIM module and where the connector is. So this is gonna be a pretty shit video because uh, everything's spaghetti in here at the moment. But basically it's this connector, this white guy here. It looks like this, this big thick white connector. The other one is this little gray one over here. It looks like this. This is where the power inputs are. So you have ignition switched, constant power. And I believe the other black ones are just passed through to ground. Um, the VSIM itself is that gray box, this guy right here, which sits on this black plastic bracket that uh, I, I said you have to remove that black bracket that this guy sits on if you're installing a factory OEM uh, like a regular console from a stock charger or a Chrysler 300 um, it's not gonna go you have to either you can totally unplug this box and take it out or you can just tuck it back in there without this black bracket that it sits on but save the screws because you're gonna need it to secure your your factory console so as for the wigwags holding the connector to you like this with the clip at the top, um, it's the first two pins. You can see they're cut right here. One is, uh, they're both brown. One is brown with orange trace, and the other one is brown with purple or violet trace. So brown orange and brown purple. You can see I've tied them in here to this yellow wire which goes to my little switch box. And that's basically it. All you do is you apply 12 volts to, uh, to either of those wires. So let's see, we can flip this guy on, and we have the, the wigwagging action. Um, you know, obviously, have your thinking cap on. Don't be doing that when you're driving on the road into oncoming cars. But um, if you're curious of how to do it, that, that is how to do it. Um, as I say, the other connector, the, the mating connector to this is basically just a pigtail that you can order from, uh, from Chrysler that gives you pigtails at the other end, but... I've, I've never really seen one of those used. Mostly they just cut the wire in the back and tap into it like that. So if you're curious how it's done, that is how it's done. If you have any questions, let me know.